Hi, I'm Jack from LegalExpert.co.uk and today I'm going to be going over what we believe that you should do next if you believe that you may be able to bring a TfL road traffic accident personal injury claim. I'm going to be talking through the basics of why victims of accidents may be able to claim, what they can claim for and then what we believe to be the most efficient process for an individual who wishes to bring a claim. If you have any questions, we have a free phone helpline where you can talk to one of our team on a no obligation basis, where they'll aim to get you the help that you need if you've been the victim of negligence. Call now on 0800 652 7676 and one of our team will do their best to assist you. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Before we continue on with the video, we want to know if you've ever been involved in an accident, would you consider using a personal injury claim solicitor to help pursue compensation? Let us know in the comments below. If you've been the victim of an accident and wish to bring a TfL road traffic accident personal injury claim, it's important to establish whether or not anyone else is liable for the accident which resulted in your TfL road traffic accident personal injury incident. If someone else acted with negligence and their actions or inaction resulted in the incident where you were injured, then there may be a strong chance that you are entitled to compensation. If the circumstances which resulted in your TfL road traffic accident personal injury were the result of someone else's negligence, there are a number of things in which you may be able to claim for as part of your TfL road traffic accident compensation claim. The first thing will of course be the injury itself. Any award for this will be a sum based on the specific injury and its severity. You may also be able to claim for the cost of any damage to any personal items which were damaged in the incident. Another thing which you may be able to claim for could be the loss of earning or any potential future earnings due to having to take time off work or a change in lifestyle as a result of the accident. And whilst there are so many things which could be claimed for, as no two accidents are the same, today the final item on our list is medical costs. Any costs incurred from medical bills that were incurred as a result of the incident may also be claimed back for. Now that we've looked at some of the main things in which you may be able to claim for, let's look into what we believe that you should do if you do decide to pursue a TfL road traffic accident personal injury claim. We believe that the best way to ensure that your claim is successful is to have a professional with the necessary experience in your corner. Now, in order for your claim to succeed, you will be required to show that those responsible for your injuries were negligent. If this isn't done properly, there is a chance that you may not get the compensation that you deserve. The good news for you is that you can get a professional working on securing the compensation that you deserve for your TfL road traffic accident personal injury claim right away without having to worry about paying any upfront fees and as long as you're honest in regards to the details of how the accident happened. This is because a number of law firms operate on a no win no fee basis and the best part is that we are one of them. Call now on 0800 652 7676 or use the live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk to see if we're able to assist you in pursuing the compensation that you deserve. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we offer a completely free, zero obligation consultation. We will talk through your incident with you in order to help you establish whether or not we believe you have a claim. They may be able to discuss Road Traffic Accident Law UK, TfL Compensation Injury, TfL Incident Today, TfL Incident Report, Road Traffic Accident Claims Process, Road Traffic Accident Compensation Calculator, Claims Against Bus Companies and Road Traffic Accident Procedure. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading helpful videos just like this one on a regular basis. Or you can check out one of our recommended videos or head over to legalexpert.co.uk where you can read community questions on our forum, get free advice on our live chat, read articles and seek assistance for compensation on a no win no fee basis for your personal injury claim.